Nintendo, our big announcement. <laughs> I'm pregnant. No, yeah. At the same time, do this, okay? I say go. Be like, what's up, what's up? Mm -hmm. What's up, what's up? <laughs> when I clap. Oh, okay. That says I'm great. Just Ready? say what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. You can show my video. You know how I watch all the videos. Know, but do you want me just to say what's up, what's up? Say everything. Ready? Nervous. Don't be nervous. Just speak loudly, okay? <laughs> I don't speak loud. You have to. The camera's way back there. All right, three, two, one. What's up, what's up? <laughs> you gotta be extra. It's your girl. Wait, sorry. Do it again, do it again. Three, two, one. What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Mark A. And it's your girl, Jennifer. <laughs> yes. So, y'all, we are about to do this mukbang, whatever, you know, this and the third. So, we actually, funny story, we actually did from a video together um, about two months ago, mm -hmm. something like that. But the video was a fail because somebody isn't a very good videographer. <laughs> so um, that video will not be posted, but we're gonna actually just, you know, do a little mukbang for you guys. And we actually have um, all vegan food. From melts. From melts, you know, I'm trying to get my, my diet together and stuff. And she's been a vegan forever now, so it's gonna be great. I don't even know what we got. So I'm kind of excited and I didn't eat at all today, so. You want me to take it out? Where'd my water go? I'm even extra excited about that. Cause I, I'm legit like starving right now. Where'd my water go? Where'd my wah wah? Wait, wait, what the other these? Fries. Fries and then. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Ah. <laughs> They're so good. Your weight up. Absolutely. You know, see how she take care of me, man. <laughs> okay. It's all vegan food, so vegan wings, vegan. Um, this is a burgers. wing. Yeah. It's a triangle, but <laughs> it's a wing. What is this made out of? Tofu. Tofu. So here's a vegan ranch. Oh, that's a vegan ranch. Oh. Yeah, free wings. What is this? That's ve That's but it's mustard. It's just mustard for your pickles. I don't like mustard. I like some spicy mustard. Or yeah, it's like spicy mustard. Do you like mustard? I do. And these fries are good though. Mm -hmm. This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, what topic is most important to you? I would say right now, because of everything that's going on, the vaccines. Starting to become really, really, really exposed as far as like the anti vaxxers and you know, so on. Mm -hmm. No, see how she got the freaking fork in her hand? She's so fancy with it. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, fuck it. So, as far as the vaccines go, how do you feel about the. Mm -hmm. so, 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 you think that that whole theory about them. Hurting babies in the hand and things like that is real. Yeah. Or do you think that the vaccines are needed and that we have to have them and things like that? Because isn't, aren't they saying that back in the day, whatever, um, back when vaccines weren't around, more kids were dying off of more common diseases, but now the vaccines are like preventing those? Good, ain't it? <laughs> No, I, I just think that we just over vaccinate. I don't think all of these vaccines are necessary. Like, and I think it's also like a conspiracy that, you know, they are trying to control the population because like if hospitals aren't able to make money off of you, then how are they going to make money, you know? So, I don't know. It's like the whole cure for cancer thing, you know? Yeah. Cause like, hasn't, hasn't cancer technically been cured like three times already? And everybody who cured it has ended up dead. That this guy's over there, the one guy in India, and then the one guy in Africa, whatever, who was curing it, and then. There's even, um, <clears throat> for example, Dr. Sebi, 
you know, he promote he promoted the alkaline diet, which is just fruits, certain fruits, for certain vegetables, um, and so on. And you know, he said in order to kill the cancer cells, so you have to stop feeding it. You know, yeah, so they grow, and that's all from your diet. And how are you feeding it? With a bad diet, like junk food and stuff. No. Processed foods. Oh. I mean, this is processed food. Hmm? This is all processed food. But you're trying to give me cancer. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean, but like, I'm not getting it. Yeah, vaccines do help out a lot with certain diseases and stuff. But I think more so the fear is more so just people feel like the vaccines are like people, the doctors putting more disease and things in the kids. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Then, they'll say this real big old term. Oh, this is the hydrogus zeploid bacterial kiloid fungum vaccination. Okay, what does it do? You get in your body and it prevents the heliotoxical melian prostate, zygarde, disease. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. What? <clears throat> that is really good. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what I'm eating. That was good though. It's a Beyond Meat burger. That's the fake meat? Yeah. Like tofu? Beets and some other stuff. Well, that's a good beef burger. <laughs> Uncategorized when it comes to religion. On you? <laughs> yeah. Um, and we yeah, both I'm went poor. to like Catholic school and. I'm poor. Dude, you. A beat burger put me out. Um, yeah. So we both did go to Catholic school, but after like getting yeah, older, whatever, and doing my own research and things like that. And my own understanding of God and the Bible. I don't know. I don't think I can still call myself like a, a full-bred Christian for real. No. Not saying that I don't believe in God because I do. I pray to him every day, multiple times a day. But it's just the fact that a lot of the things in the Bible, you know, don't really make sense to me. It's really confusing. You know, like the whole, my biggest argument is how the fuck did the Bible got two creation stories in it? And how do y'all teach both creation stories, you know? And want to believe both creation stories. That always got me. And the whole dinosaur thing, I mean, it's like, it's like, it's more into it, but it's like, I don't know. But the whole, oh, you know, um, Moses split the water in half and you know Noah had every animal on the planet and all that stuff I don't know, if he was in in Africa somewhere whatever how the hell did he get the freaking polar bears from Af in Africa mm -hmm. how did he get the freaking um, toucans and how did he get the the freaking um, moose from Canada and all that stuff you know that fast so I don't know my issue is with people that say, oh, you shouldn't take the Bible literally, but then take things that they feel applies more to them. Man, that say that, better, that, say that, that again, my head is sweating. Yes, because what I'll say about that is let's, let's use the whole gay thing, for example, right? There are so many people, not so many people, but there are people on my YouTube who will comment whatever. I'm like, oh, that's so gay. Or, oh, he's so gay. Or, oh, that's bad. Or, oh, that's against the Bible. This, that, third, whatever. Right? My biggest thing about that, I just had to go. My biggest thing about that is like, um, how can you make one sin the worst sin out of all the, out of all the sins? Well, all sins are sins, basically, right? So it's like, yeah. How can you say my sin is worse than your sin? 
I'm, I'm going to hell for sinning, but you're not going to hell, even though you sin every day as well. You know, and a lot of things you do every single last day are big sins. Things that you don't even like realize. Shit, tattoos are sins. Being selfish. According to the Bible, selfish. You know, y'all love some shrimp, and y'all love going to the crab legs. I see all the time. You know, oh, I'm going to Juicy Crab, Border 65, Red Lobster, all that stuff. I miss Red Lobster. Yep, yeah, man. Yeah. You're only saying, oh, I'm eating this crab, but uh, it's okay because <laughs> I'm going to hell anyway. You don't want to say that. You know, having earrings are considered sins. Mm -hmm. Um, How many of y'all have premarital sex? That's a sin. You know? Um... Some of the clothes you wear are sins. Well, eating bacon is a sin. Y'all love some bacon. Any type of pork. Any form so, of pork. you can't sit there and cast stones on me or anybody for any sin. I mean, everybody's sin for Like, come on now. Yeah. And then, like, isn't God supposed to be a forgiving God? Yeah. You know? So. But no. Isn't that why Jesus died for us, whatever, so that we can't see him and still go to still go to heaven? But then, you know about that? What confuses me too is like, okay, so if God is so powerful and God is so this and God is so that, whatever, you know, He's so forgiving. Why did it take for Him to send His Son down here to be killed and tortured just so He can forgive us? If you want to forgive us, dude, like, just freaking forgive us. No, I, I, I think... Damn! You know... The fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? Barbecue. <laughs> barbecue sandwich. Barbecue what? What, what is it? Barbecue. Onion rings? Yeah, I think so. Is it good? This is a barbecue onion ring sandwich? Yeah, something like that. Oh, my God. It's good? Yeah. Huh. Ah. You don't like it? I haven't tried that yet. Oh, my God. It's a barbecue onion ring sandwich, y'all. You think you did the vegan life? Yeah. You just don't eat like this every day, though. No. Yeah, I was like, that defeats the purpose. Of Wait, vegan? vegan? Hell no. <laughs> Why you not? Can, you can't jump. You can't just skip vegetarian. There's levels to this. I know. Big steps. Yeah. I still need some of my stuff. Um, my issue is with, you know, the people that like to throw those sins at you and, but then, you know, ignore everything else. Mm -hmm. So, you want to tell them our big announcement? <laughs> I'm pregnant! Not yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> 20 plus years. <laughs> we made a pack. Remember when we said that um, serious thing? Yeah, so. We have an announcement, you guys, so listen up. If by the age of 40, <clears throat> me and Marque are still single, we're going to get married. But it's going to be like an open marriage. So, you know, we're just. She can still get the D. Just not for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna have kids. But I don't wanna have kids at forty. Right. I'm gonna be too old. I mean my mom had me at forty one. Oh. You could do it. And then while the vegan food you eat, you'd be healthy. I'm gonna live to be like two hundred years old, like dang. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't freaking wait to die. Like this is taking too long. Do you think the pyramids were built by aliens? Oh. Um, no, I don't. I think, no, wait, we must, we must. I think we were, oh, it's hard. Do I think the aliens came up with the pyramids themselves? No. But do I think that people were like influenced by something to know how to make this? Then yeah. No, I think aliens helped them. You think they You think they Yeah, dude, they were like. And like made them themselves? No, I think they. Showed us how to make them. Yeah, 
I mean, isn't it the same thing? They help them. Or with the guy? No, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think aliens help them, and then when like they saw how we were evolving, they're like, "That's this. We're abandoning," and then they went back into space. Well, then how long were they here for then? I don't know. They were there for that period, though, because the Egyptians and like the Mesoamerica, all of them have the same like style pyramid buildings. Who? Mesoamerica, so like the Incas, the Where Mayans, from? Aztecs, all from South America, Central America. Oh, that's not Africa. No. Are there any paintings of aliens? Hmm. I think so. In Egypt. Egypt aliens. I think this is how my head would look like if I didn't have any hair. That is not true. Yes. It's not, your head's not that long. It's long. I said that when I die, how do you want to get, like, how do you want to get buried when you die? I want to be taxidermy. I want to be stuffed. Impulsive. Like, I want to be, like, I want to be like, like prompted. You wouldn't have your body. Stuck and be in the corner like, or like, you know, they could always see me smiling. They like, always see me there. Like, oh, and when I die, bug. when I die, you gotta, whatever animals I got by the time, kill their asses too. And stuff their asses too. And like mount, mount us so all you together. Wanna do, you want to do like the Egyptians? They used to get buried with their animals and pets and jewelry. Keep the jewelry. No, I want my jewelry. Do sure, I pay for that? Throw it in there <laughs> with me. No. If I, I, and if I can't be taxidermy, which I really want, that's my number one. Um, but so far nobody said they would take me. Or if I can't do that, then I want to be like in a tree pot. Like put me in that big like full body pot, or whatever. And let a tree and like plant a like tree in it. Like the tree from Pocahontas, like when you, you when you're like a ghost. Mm -hmm. You get a little Pocahontas tree. That's me. No, I want to get buried in Antarctica. 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 Because <laughs> I want them to discover my body, you know, <laughs> ten thousand years from now, and be like, oh my god, this girl was a genius because her head is so big. <laughs> I thought I was like some like you know. Cause they'll compare it to like a regular skull, and then they'll see my skull. They know and they're that. They're like, oh, she. They she. know that, that that you were in the range of head sizes. They would know I was smart. They know you were in the range of head sizes. No, but big, big brain does not mean smart. I looked it up. I googled it. Yeah. I weighed my head one time too to see how much. How you do that? Put your hand on a scale like this. Yeah. I had my parents help me. The other day, someone's like. You start working at the age of what, 15, maybe? Some of younger now. I started, yeah, I started at the age of 15 working. And then you retire at the age of 65. That's your entire life that you just spent working mm -hmm. and most likely at a job you freaking hate. Mm -hmm. That's terrifying. Mm -hmm. I want to name my son Bo. Why? Not B O or like a hair bow, the French word bow, B E A U, because it means prince and it means uh, a man that's extremely handsome. So that was where the the term beautiful came from. Uh, B A U. B A U. Yeah, beautiful. Probably. Mm -hmm. But if he came out ugly, we would have to change his name. To know. <laughs> <laughs> you believe in open relationships? You know what? I've been considering this a lot lately because I'm convinced that 90% of the male population cheats. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm convinced. Like, I was like, I don't think I've ever, I have come across Females person. cheat? No, females too. I'm not, I'm not. Well, I'm talking about like my, you know, from my experience. Uh -huh. But, and then I'm like, I mean, 
they're gonna do what they want to do at the end of the day. You can put restrictions on them. You can check their phones. You know, whatever you, you want to do. But at the end of the day, they're still going to do what they want to do. Do you think? Do you think it's because they say, "Oh, men are here to spread the seed everywhere," like how animals are? Yeah. Like no, how, they, like, they like, like a pack of lions. The lions pretty much agree with every female in that herd. That's the herd, such a good point. In yes. the pack. So it's like, is it something like, like it's, it's eternal? Like, is that nature feeling that men truly can't get Yeah, it's like an get over? animalistic instinct. For, I mean, men, I feel, act sometimes. And I'm not saying, like, they're animals. No, I'm saying they do have, like, similar qualities. They're very simple, mm. you know, like, simple stuff. And I feel like, yeah, that could be it because it's in their nature to do so. That's like it's in their nature to not be um, as emotional as women. We are, it's actually proven that women are more emotional because something in their brain. Oh. Um, yeah, so it's like, but no, lately I've been thinking, I was like, you know, if I'm married to someone and they cheat on me, would you I break mean, up with them? Get divorced? I don't, I don't know. I, before I would be like, no, no, absolutely not. I would not be with them. But then like, I don't know. I think I would leave the situation for myself because I wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's pretty much an open relationship if you're letting a man cheat on you continuously. So at that point, you would believe in an open relationship. No, I don't mind you believing. It's about something you feel like you can't deal with or something like that. No, yeah, no, I'm saying, but I'm not, I'm talking about like the people that actually stay with men that continuously cheat on them. Wouldn't you at that point be considered to be in an open relationship, even though it's one-sided? No. Because yeah, you're, that, you're allowing, I mean, he's cheating on you, and you're just allowing them to continue doing so. Well, I guess. Because leaving the situation. I guess. Yeah. Could I be with somebody who cheated on me? Um... It's hard to, th okay, because I feel like you're the same like me right now. Like, I don't know. You're considering it, like, mm. It puts, I guess, if you like make one time mistake, whatever, okay. We get past it, whatever. But if you continue to cheat on me, then no, I'm not about to keep fucking with you, bro. No, and, and this is the thing, like, I'm okay with being with someone, no title. And then they doing whatever they want. I can't do that. Because I'm not going to get attached. I'm going to feel sorry. Especially, especially you be like, oh, well, we're together anyway. What the fuck I want to do? I, okay. <laughs> Shit, fuck you too, nigga. But no, like. Have I you would, ever been in an open relationship? In a way, sort of, kind of. Okay. So, you know what I'm talking about. You know, the one, the, the, the one guy I dated for like three years, whatever. We actually, oh, okay. we actually were like it wasn't an open relationship, but we always brought people into the relationship. But like, so you guys were like actually together. We were together yeah, for like okay. three years. We were together, no, we were together for like three and a half years. We were together for two years. Oh, that's good. Damn, they're married for real. So, and it got to a point. And I'm, I'm very sexually expressive, and he was too. Whatever. So, and we were comfortable with bringing other people into our relationship like it got to the point to where he would call me and be like hey babe so i got this football player you want to have this in the night all right babe yeah you know call me again hey i saw our security guard downstairs he want to uh do something you want to do something with him bet you know so stuff like that i feel like with me the kind of boyfriend that i am there's no need to cheat on me because i'm going to just ask him we could fuck them together, my nigga. Like, there's no point in you cheating on me. Like, see, I see, I can't do threesomes. Girl, I've done threesomes. I've thrown sex parties, everything. I can't. In that, I feel like that's such. But a we had, but we had rules in play though. Yeah. Like the rules were, when we brought somebody home, if I brought somebody home or he brought somebody home, no, they weren't topping us. We always topped them. No, we're not giving them oral. That's a good rule. And um. No, we're not kissing them. That's good rule too. So basically, um, they would do stuff to us, and then we would just smash them, and then they leave. 
they were fine with that. But yeah, so there's no point to cheat on me because like I'm the boyfriend that I would I would allow us to bring people into the thing. Whatever you cheat on me, you're a fucking idiot. First of all, I'm gonna treat you like a fucking king. You know, I'm gonna do hella shit for you. I'm going to open your world up. Like I would do everything for you, and it would be so fun and everything. So you're like selling yourself. Am I? Huh? Mark K. Nine nine nine. That's all I'm worth. It's not ninety nine. Nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Wow. <laughs> No. Yeah. yeah, I see that I can't get with because I feel no, because I feel like when it comes to to sex, it's so there's so many energies being transferred between one another and bringing an energy you don't know into it. Um I think that's it's not no good. For me, you have a lot of fun, you know, like like what Beyonce said, you know, you know I kept it sexy. Kept it fun. That's like my motto for a relationship. It's gonna be sexy as hell. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Not just so in the you bedroom. Do in open to an extent. Like to no, an extent. you like no, you can't have a side nigga. No, okay. you can't just go fuck her the fuck you want to. If we're doing this, we're doing we it, have to to do it together. Together okay. with rules set in place. Then it's all fine. I told my mom this too. I was like, I don't want to get legally married. And she's like, oh my gosh. I was like, how would you? You're like, the rebel child. Huh? Yeah, no, I'm not. I mean, they know I'm not being weird. Mm -hmm. They're like, I told you, my parents are. Oh, like, by the way, you guys, she does not cuss, cuss, man. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she'd be like, I remember one time, I remember one time you called me back in high school, whatever. You were so mad at some girl, whatever. <laughs> and you were like, Mark, hey. I'm like, what? You're like, I do cuss if I'm like mad. We was talking whatever. You were like, oh my god, that B called me a that B called me a B. <laughs> I was like, what? Just say that fucking word, bro. No, I do if I'm mad because at that point, like, I'm not thinking about censoring myself. You know, I'm just like, all right, you guys. So that was pretty much it for I'm this my, my for life. this mukbang vegan, not vegan, vegetarian edition. Vegan. Vegan edition, whatever. Yeah. Is this on 4K? I don't know, dude. Don't, don't make fun of my camera. I'm not. <laughs> but before we go, you know, we got to give our post notification shout out. Bro, so I always have my guests give this shout out, whatever. So. <laughs> okay, shorty. Man. And the post notification shout out goes to. No, hold on. I got to read it to you first. Okay. And the one I picked is, that was some deep kissing. I can tell you go all the way in the bedroom. That's the type of kissing I like, and I know you got hard. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that from? Um, Shorty Man. Shorty Man. What's up, brother? Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being part of the Millionaire's Club. You know, if you guys are new to this channel, watch all of my old videos. Watch my, all my new upcoming videos. Press subscribe. Hit the notification buzzer, you know. Y'all quit being nasty, bro. Like y'all, y'all really think I would kiss my fucking cousin? Really? Ew. Really? What is wrong with y'all? Like, I don't know what to say about that. But mm. yeah, um, um, lost my train of thought. We are millionaires. Shit, I don't know what to fucking say. I lost my train of thought. Um, one. Take us home, Jennifer. Peace. One. Everything one. Oneness. Huh? Every day we oh, I love you guys. Uh, and as you already know, every day we what? Say it loud. Say it proud. Say it. Say it. That's what? <laughs> Lit. <laughs> we out, y'all.